the third and final graph that we use um, or construct based upon a group frequency distribution is called a cumulative frequency polygon or in, for short called an ogive or ogive. Okay. This graph uses cumulative, not just frequency, but cumulative frequency on the vertical scale and it uses class boundaries on the lower scale. Okay. So let's reference back we're going to use our ages of parents again. Reference back to our original problem where we have class limits, boundaries. Now we need to use class cumulative frequency and class boundaries. If you remember the histogram, the histogram graph here Histogram graph uses frequencies and class boundaries. So for this new graph, our lower axis is going to look like this, but our, our left-hand axis is going to be more exaggerated using cumulative values. And it's not going to be a bar graph. It will be a line graph like the cumulative frequency. This is a cumulative, say, frequency polygon using cumulative values. Oh. It's a cumulative frequency polygon called an ogive for ages of parents. The vertical scale uses cumulative frequencies. The horizontal scale uses class boundaries. As before, we have five classes, so I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Now, in this problem, we have to focus on the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, the total value here was 23. So my vertical scale has to go to 23, not 10 or some other number. So my vertical scale, and perhaps I can count by threes. Say three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. This is cumulative frequency with twenty-one. Let's see, better do this right. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. A difference on this graph, though, is, okay, your first class boundary is 